there's a good chance that Super Bowl Sunday is going to be a lot like today. If it's a fraction of like today or yesterday, it's going to the weather's going to be a big deal. The weather will be a big factor in the game. So this is a story. The weather in the next week and a half is a story. So this is not just some uh, contrived uh, crowbarred in comedy bit. This is a real thing. And thank God we have the the most popular <laughs> meteorologist on the internet today, in Mike Boschetti. Uh, but again, this would have been interesting if Mike was outside yesterday. Yeah. But Mike, for some reason, has chosen to go outside today, where he looks completely fine, and uh, to give us a weather report. Let's go to Mike Boschetti uh, in uh, Lower Manhattan. Mike. Hey, Audie. How are you? Hey, John. Hey, everybody in the studio. This is Mike Boschetti reporting live the weather on the Audie Lang Show tonight. Well, How I you just, doing, Audie? I just, I just said that. I know. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, this is in case you missed it yesterday. No, wait, wait, one second. Mike, <laughs> National Weather Service in New Mike. York. Yeah. Issued a weather warning. A weather warning? Yes, warning for snow, which is in effect until t- uh, yesterday at 6 a.m. Uh, downtown <laughs> in Long Island, uh, well, has some types heavy snow. Accumulations of snow up to 6 to 10 inches. Yesterday, you're, Mike, you're man. reporting, you're literally reporting yesterday's <laughs> I news. I just said yesterday. Oh, sorry. Now, now you're reporting system, yesterday's news. Well, what does it matter? News. Get that out of the way first. It really doesn't matter now, No, it doesn't. Does well, I'm just giving people a warning that didn't hear it yesterday. Uh, you look... Completely fine. You don't look in any danger. No. Cars are moving fine behind you. Cars are moving fine. People, Traffic is good. People, people are easily friendly on the walking street. around. Yeah. yeah you got some nice people walking by now. Can uh, you give us weather and traffic at the same time? Yeah. Now, yes. what, what was traffic like yesterday at 4 Traffic o'clock? by the Holland Tunnel at 4 o'clock was kind of congested. Uh, heading into Connecticut in that general area, was uh, it was backed up for miles on the uh, Route 80. When was that, Mike? What day uh, was that? Yesterday from 4 p.m. on. Until about 8 o'clock last night, it was backed up in the Holland Tunnel. Can you, around 80? the lake, and it was, uh, traffic was moving br- uh, briskly. Now, have they caught the son of Sam Killer? Uh, about back in the 70s. Yeah, okay, good. Just checking. Oh, no, no. Sam was take, he's in jail for like 80, uh, a while. All right, I want to uh, say something about the weather in Thank New York you, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, tomorrow in New York, uh, with clouds, cold, high 50. Mike, by the way, degrees. no one reads a teleprompter like you, buddy. <laughs> that, well, I, I work what I, I got. Can, I can barely tell you're reading something. I work what it's I have. It's so professional. Can anyone else tell he's reading something? I work what I have with, work what I have with, Art. You what? I improvise what I have. So what you're saying is if, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Totally. Make, make a whole stand with the lemonade in my case. You know, it looks like uh, life gave you lemons and you made an enormous obese person. Uh, yeah, well, you got to be happy with who you are, buddy. I don't really care. You also look very pale. Uh, uh, tomorrow's weather's going to be in New York. It's going to be all very cloudy, but some sunshine, high 25 degrees, winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour in New York. Actually, in the uh, Midwest, in Milwaukee, <laughs> some sun in the morning. Mike, is there a reason you're doing this outside? Because uh, I cause, uh, I was told to. Well, no, we thought you wanted uh, to be like a real weather guy. Yeah, you know, I like and... this. Do you like it? It's the cold is refreshing, actually. I'd rather be out here than the cold in the sun. Now, what about this, that disgusting snot that's frozen right <laughs> above your lip? I can't help that, Art. It's uh, the weather. The right weather. Out, uh, right traffic out. is moving along right now uh, downtown. And, uh, it is, right? Yeah, it's moving quite good right now. Uh, uh, actually, yeah. the Holland Tunnel is backed up. It is? No, right it's now not. It is, yes. Uh, it could be backed up later on. I'm not really sure. <laughs> But uh, actually, some weather for our friends in the Midwest. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, good. Some sun in the morning, increasingly clouds during the afternoon. Very cold. That was today? Uh, today, tomorrow, uh, Wisconsin. Is this for today or tomorrow? Tomorrow in Wisconsin. Milwaukee, actually. Uh, you sure? Uh, and then, uh, oh, God, my earplug just fell out. That's okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Guys, can somebody help me with this quick? <laughs> 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 Mike Boschetti on the job, bud. <laughs> the worst job yeah. ever. Well, Shoving that you, back in his hairy, waxy ear. I got it back in. <laughs> you got it back in. The other yeah, the yeah. producer got it back in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's so moist. Uh, <laughs> actually, we're heading to the California one now, Art. In Happy Camp, California, near Mount Happy, Shasta. Happy, Mount, sunny and windy near 55 degrees tomorrow. Happy Camp? Mount Shasta. <laughs> Mount Shasta? <laughs> Happy Camp CA, I've California. Been there. I've been there. What part of California is that, Mike? It's beautiful. It's 55 degrees out there tomorrow. <laughs> what part of, what part of uh, California is that? Okay. Oh, no. Jersey's going to be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
that jersey? He's just, he's just passing right over that part. He no, no. really is. I think he likes this better because there's no mat. I, I can't hear you guys. Oh, really? No, wait, what wait, about, wait. did they are put you the wearing, thing? Are you wearing motocross gloves? Uh, these are Shane's gloves. He saved my butt out here. Oh, okay. Now, what about Shane the what about the earplug? The earplug is back in. But you say you can't hear us. No, I can hear you now. Okay, go ahead. Mike, how does it uh, make you feel actually, if the girls wouldn't give you their mittens? Actually, uh, traffic came to a standstill right now downtown. That's because it's a red light, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> when it's a red light, the traffic stops. It's chopper stops. Actually, yeah, uh, those cars are at a red light behind you. Actually, uh, <laughs> in Cheesecake, New Jersey, near Perth Amboy, what? Sunshine and Clowns, Cheesequake, New Jersey. Cheesecake, you say? Quake. Like can, you, can you get food off your mind for two seconds to give the weather? <laughs> it just, I, I love food like sex. Uh... Our well, traffic is building up again at a high. Uh... <laughs> That's because the red light, Mike. When the red light turns green, it'll it'll start flowing again. Yeah. No, no, uh, sorry, Art. It's See, there it goes. Cheesequake, New Jersey. <laughs> See, the traffic's now moving. It's now moving at a good interval right now. At, at... Yeah, and the red light uh, turned green. <laughs> Actually, uh, well, traffic is kind of moving right along right now. Actually, it's. Uh, let me go to another state, Art. You want Mike, to physically go to another state? Mike, can you interview some of the uh, passerby? That's passers always by good. Yeah, that's always good. About the weather, Mike? Wait, he's trying to get the... Did I'm you trying hear to me? open the thing. Sorry, guys. Hey, Mike, uh, could yeah. you interview some of the passersby? Sure. by If they come by again, I will. Definitely, guys. That'd be great. Yeah, now, uh, you look like you're in a busy part of town. I haven't seen one human being. You're in New York City. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, did we lose? We lost. <laughs> let, him, let him keep talking. I think he unplugged it. <laughs> he's, he's talking and no one can hear him. <laughs> hey, how are you? We're reporting live from the Yachty Lang oh, Show in New go. York City. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. What's your name? Piper. Hi, Piper. How are you? How do you? Are you from New York? I just moved here January 1st. <laughs> really? Where are you from? He's Orlando, in the dark. Florida. Nice. It's probably like 85 degrees out there now, yeah. right? I miss it right now. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You're adorable. Oh, thanks. You're adorable. <laughs> stop, oh, thank you. Mike, stop creeping out. The... Are you hitting on the passerby? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I was being a gentleman, Art. You're adorable. Throwing some game. How fast is she buying there. a ticket back to Orlando tomorrow? <laughs> no, uh, maybe get somebody else here. Mike, right a now. weather guy just, okay. just sexually attacked <laughs> her. <laughs> Welcome to the guys, Super Bowl, you? Mike. Hi. Where are you guys from? Uh, I live in New York. So does he. <laughs> Oh, cool. We're from the Audie Lang Show. I'm the Wonder Man. Are on t we're on TV right now, guys. Oh, wow. That's awesome. What channel? Uh, Direct TV. Oh, wow. Direct TV. Direct to the point. I like that. Thank you, guys. I got to get back to my... <laughs> Thank you. Have a what? Wonder... what is that, well, Mike? Have some cocoa and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Mike, you're My earplug fell out again, guys. Mike! <laughs> Have some cocoa and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Uh, Mike, <laughs> you're being rude to them. You're like, you, you stop okay. them and talk and say, I gotta go. Okay, sorry. Whether people in hurricanes, their earpiece doesn't fall out. No, he, he, goes, okay. he goes, hey guys, do you mind if we talk to you? Let's not gotta go. Okay, That's will, what he does thanks. on the phone. Hi guys, That's I'm what sorry. Mike does on the phone. He calls you and goes, listen, I gotta go. Uh, hi guys, uh, next, now we're getting back to the wedding in the, uh, tomorrow in Kentucky. Uh, be luck, oh, Kentucky. Of course, why wouldn't we do that? Uh, so I'm sun in the morning with increasing clouds during the afternoon, very high cold, 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. Uh, Hooker Corner, Indiana. Mike, didn't you want to send a special hello? Uh, not that I know of. All right, well, read that blue paper. Yeah, you're, oh, the, weatherman. Okay. you're the weatherman. Like, Audie, you, know, uh, like, you know, like the weatherman, no. like Al Roker, they say they give birthdays, they say hi. Oh, okay. Audie, I want to send a very special hello to bees <laughs> of Bee Lick, Kentucky. It's very sad all the bees are dying. <laughs> oh, what is that about? Audie, I, I don't know. They're, they're, I don't know. The beehive left town. I don't know what happened. They uh, booked passage on a flight someplace. You sound very concerned. I am concerned. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> I don't okay. know what he just said. Okay. He's some sort of citizen. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A moga? Um, guys, a moga wow, the traffic is building up again, guys. It's moving right along right now downtown in Manhattan. And, uh, yes, it quite Any is, other passerby uh, you want to talk to? That's the weather, Art. Do you have any other passerbys you want to talk to? I, c I can't hear you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what about Hooker Corner? I hear somebody doing a bad sudden action here right now. It sounds like it's New Orleans. 
Jeez. Maybe is that the voice in your head? <laughs> is that the what? Is that voice? Is that the is that voice also saying you're gay? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. gonna talk to some more people if they come by again. This is fun. We're having a good yeah, time. Yeah. Well, well, let us know if more people come by. I told. I see them coming by now. They're walking fast. <laughs> that poor girl from Orlando. Who you said you said her, you're adorable. Yeah. No, but she's very cute. I couldn't help it. Yeah, but Mike, I you're gonna get in trouble. You. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I know. She I called can't Mike help it, guys. Cute also. She's gonna burst into one of these women's gonna burst into tears. No, she's probably burst. I, I don't know. Uh, right now, the weather's building outside, guys. It's about twenty degrees. No, the it's not weather. building at all. What do you mean the weather's building? It's building to get colder out. It's probably about ten degrees outside <laughs> right now. Oh. Traffic is building. The weather is steady. Traffic is at a standstill again. Uh, <laughs> Mike, it's moving insanely we fast. We can see it's pretty, the traffic, It's pretty Mike. easy to get a cab, cab in New York right now. <laughs> try to get a cab. I get a cab immediately. <laughs> well, try. I can't leave my spot. <laughs> yes, you can. Sure. No, but they're going to get picked off if I, if I don't get in the cab. Mike, it's the Artie Lang Show. I, go ahead. Take a cab somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't really, Art. You know, I'm, take, I'm take a cab to the Opie and Anthony I'm, show. I'm strong. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's sad. It's okay. What about right. Hooker Corner? No, guys, uh, right now, I'm done with weather, but it's, it's nice out here. It's getting warmer. How do you explain that enormous rash on your nose? The weather? It's cold <laughs> out here. It's not a... It's not, uh, all right, all right. Let's calm down. Don't get I, hostile. I can't. No, I'm not hostile. I can't do nothing about the weather. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, Mike, who's know. on the show tonight? Okay, hold on. Uh, Wait, you didn't give us Hooker Corner, no, Indiana, you, Mike. Hold on. I'm sorry. Thank you, buddy. Did his ear thing fall out again? I don't know. It looks terrible. Okay, cool. Uh, tonight on the show, uh, joins in studio TV personality comedian Lynn Coplitz. I think it's Copeland's. Cop, cop, cop. I don't know, guys. Don't <laughs> bell me right now. I'm not in... Have some mercy. You guys are merciless. <laughs> They're beeping you. Yeah, you got to try to say it right, Mike. Guys, okay. Tonight, joins in studio comedian TV personality Lynn Copeland's. Uh, I guess that's good enough. <laughs> I mean, I think try Copeland's. Uh, we'll find out when she gets here. Well, try Copeland. Lynn Copeland's. We'll say the whole thing. Tonight, joins in studio comedian TV personality Lynn Copeland's. Okay. Nice. Drop by in the second hour, comedian, hypnotist, Rich Guzzi. Is that true? Guzzi's right? Yeah, like now, Alan Mike, Guzzi. Now, Mike, will you agree to be hypnotized? I don't know if it'll work on me. Well, can we try? <laughs> uh, Why wouldn't it work on you? If you only want to be hypnotized, it works, I think. No, that's not true. <laughs> no, that's not going to put me on. I doubt it, Art. Uh, all right. Can uh, we try? I can't wait to okay, see you try. Uh, let me get to the next guest, all right? Why are you giving orders? I'm not... <laughs> Can we try to put you yeah. under hypnosis? Okay, sure. Mike, are you the cold? To play with. Yeah, yeah. Are you hurrying through this? Because you're not doing a very good job. It must be because you're cold. It's, co it's, not, it's not exactly 85 degrees out here, guys. <laughs> we know that. Well, I don't think you can come in. Is uh, that your official weather report? It's not exactly 85 degrees out here? Man, a woman the hell up. Butt wipes. I, got, I still got a couple of people to introduce, Art. Very important people. Mike, there's still part of your weather report that's left. There's you nothing didn't left. You didn't complete the whole thing. No, guys, guys, let me get to the next guest. Yeah, I love him. He's super important, too. <laughs> I think you're lying. No, I'm not. Calling <laughs> at the top of the hour, active TV personality, retired, four-time NBA champion, the great John Sally. I love John. He's going to be on the phone, I think. And, uh, on the phone. Stopping by in the uh, third hour, stand-up comedian Mark DeMeo. Mark DeMeo, very funny. Now, do you know Mark? Yes, for a long time. Is there any comedian you don't know? <laughs> Only the most powerful ones. I wish I knew Sandler, like, a, my back of my hand, uh, somebody like that. <laughs> you keep getting buzzed, Mike. You have to correct yourself. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Man, I'm looking for more people on the street. There's nobody out here. Yeah, guys. I think they're it's... afraid of you. They're not afraid of me. That chick like me, guys. You got a big schnock rocket coming out of you. I don't know. Wipe uh, your nose. I with can't. I can't with even Shane's move. gloves. <laughs> it's, no <laughs> it's freezing, guys. I'm serious. It's Shane, no joke now. Shane, are you going to just, like, let him keep those gloves, I think? I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> yeah. He's Come been on. wiping schnot rockets with it. His nose uh, is increasingly red. Yeah, as, but, it's, as guys, it's not like... report has gone it's on. It's not 97 oh, degrees in, Baha in, in in Bermuda right now. We know that, Mike. That's why you're out there braving the elements like a great weatherman. You want to be a weatherman, right? As long as it pays the green, the, the greenbacks, of course. Well, you're getting paid for this. 
Yeah, but I mean, we will, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll work on this. <laughs> Just stay out there while I read some negative tweets. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I don't really care because the ne negative tweets are made by negative idiots. Borchetti <laughs> makes my skin crawl. <laughs> Well, you know what, Art? The person who wrote that, I don't even care about them. They could just uh, fall into a puddle of snow. I don't even care. Every time Boschetti talks, a little piece of me dies. Good. <laughs> that was warranted. Boschetti. Yes. That's not a question. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm reading a tweet. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Man's Twitter account on Twitter. That's all it says, Boschetti with a question mark. Oh, that's nice. You don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> Boschetti should be in... Oh, wow, look at this. Boschetti should be in Penthouse. <laughs> well, if the money's yeah. right, we'll have somebody at CAA go for this. Uh, Boschetti needs uh, a good agent. How about that? Uh, <laughs> is Bernie Brill... Oh, no, he's gone. Uh, he's dead. Shapiro West. Uh, oh, I know who to grab. Who? Uh, UTA, Dave Becky, all the good guys. Now, is this... UTA. Is this when your uh, improv skills should come out? <laughs> yeah, I know who the agents are, right? They're, they're None of them are good people. Most of them are. What? You idiot. <laughs> none of them are good people. Most of them are. Mike, I know a lot of agents, so most of them are good people. <laughs> uh, Boschetti <laughs> is the greatest if you like pale acne people. <laughs> Maybe that's what he looks like. Uh, Those are Rooney. He just reflected on himself. Uh, oh! Boschetti's hair smells like ass. <laughs> well, I guess he, he was the one who styled it. <laughs> See, this is a even big enough tip. This is a great part of the show where you show your wit by immediately coming back to these negative tweets. Yeah, it's a great exercise. It is a good one because I got to put a lot of knuckleheads in their place. Boschetti <laughs> sucks the big enchilada. That's what he probably had for breakfast. 888-936-8822. I mean, how do you... I'm going to lay that one out there and just leave it to me. 888-936-8822. Is that Mike Boschetti or Albert Brooks? Uh, I'm Albert's second cousin. I'm saying you're so witty. I'm mistaking you for... I wish I... Oh, wow, thanks. I, uh, uh... As a matter of fact, look at, listen to this comment. Uh, Boschetti is like a fat, disgusting, smelly Albert Brooks. He's looking in the mirror at himself. <laughs> Lynn Coplitz or Coplitz on The Artie Lang Show. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.